Hello, this is Bobby at Coppel TV Repair. Uh, today with a proof of video, uh, with a proof of functionality for a board that was returned to us after we repaired it, uh, with a customer saying that this board does not work, I tested it in my Samsung TV, check the soldering, please I need this board fixed. Um, we looked at the back, the soldering was good in our opinion, uh, it, wasn't a, it wasn't looking like a machine made. Uh, but it was fine considering the transistors have burned and we had to clean up around the solder joints uh, the, It was the usual fit. This is a 42 inch board by the way A uh, board for a 42 inch TV and we will be testing it on a 50 inch Samsung Which draws even more current and uh, this is not a proper use of this board It should not be used on a 50 inch TV because it doesn't provide enough juice to power a 50 inch panel. However, uh, we're going to be testing it with uh, only half uh, the display. This is just a, a jumper through the top uh, for the top half of the screen, which feeds the lower half buffer board. Uh, this way, we only are utilizing the lower half of the screen for the sake of testing. That's going to be just fine since all output voltages are the same on the 42 and the 50 inch version of this TV. Uh, the 50 inch simply needs more power. Uh, which is provided by a bigger uh, sustained transformer here uh, and uh, it also has a larger, it has two rectifiers in order to provide more power to the main transformer uh, this is taped with scotch if you can see here because uh, it was damaged during transportation to here uh, that's a common problem when the board is not packaged well it simply detaches on one end since this is just a coil Electrically, this is never a problem, or rarely ever, uh, but it's making mechanical sound, it's, it's not a good thing. So we just glued it, and uh, it is uh, curing now. It's going to be ready in a short while. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to test that board. I'm making a close-up of those marks by the customer. Before I turn on the TV, there it is. I'll just click. Okay, welcome sound. Right. <laughs> okay, that is the board that is not working. Uh, as you can see, it is working for us. Once again, I'm going to do it slow, so then there is no doubt. And this is happening. Alright, and let's see, I'm slow back to here. This is a whole TV, uh, that's a HPT5054, again this is not a normal use, do not use a 42 inch board in a 50 inch TV, uh, but it's okay for testing. And this is what I mean, the 161 is the 42 inch, the 162 is the 50 inch, the differences are minor and a 50 inch board can be used on a 42 inch TV without a problem, not the other way around, unless it is either for a very short time or the way we've done it here with just half a buffer board this can run like that for a long period of time uh, it just doesn't need more power I mean most of the the difference is in the, the highest consumption is in the panel and since this is a half size actively working uh, you can assume it's about 50% it may be slightly more it may be slightly less uh, but in all cases cutting half of the power does not make that much of a difference. The TV is still working uh, and I'm going to send that link back to the customer and return board back to them. I would... I may make a pause here and just inspect the back of the board to address their concern about the solders on the back. Uh, the two transistors for the VA track, the drivers for the VA transformer were replaced and this is the solder joints the problem is well in my opinion those are not bad solder joints uh, and I would put my name on that the problem is that originally there is extremely little space around the uh, copper left on top of the on top of the copper track around the legs of those transistors here and here and so when we replace the transistor we clean up some of the track to allow more contact surface 
to be available for a solder so that it can make a better contact and it doesn't uh, and even a small degradation of the solder doesn't doesn't really kill the joint uh, so we've cleaned it up I can see the the signs of the of the cleaning up and we've made a solder joint on top of that of course on this side there's nothing left it can't be made prettier than that it burned in the original joint I really don't see anything else that may have raised an issue but regardless of whatever it might be uh, the board works the problem is simply elsewhere and so thanks